my mantis head. Wait. <laughs> One second. Okay. These are my mantis heads. So I made these back in 2022 with one of my best friends. Her name is Julia. She's a fantastic musician and artist. That's Julia. We had both been going through really tough breakups and it was at the tail end of quarantine and the COVID lockdown and we were both pretty miserable. We really needed something to put our attention on and at the time, Julia had just finished making this big paper mache fish. She was talking about it to me and she was showing it to me and through that conversation sparked the idea for these. This whole thing was to just have fun and make something that was just bizarre and weird and give us a reason to get out of our houses, go see a friend and just make something cool. The bases are made with these old bike helmets and chicken wire. We found it a lot easier to put the chicken wire on when someone else is wearing the helmet. That's our friend Kieran. We then put paper mache over the chicken wire and then covered all that with plaster putty and then painted them and the final result was these. We were only able to work on these one day out of the weekends for a couple hours. So the entire process took like six months. As we were making our way through making these though, we decided that we wanted to do a really cool photo shoot at the end and we were gonna pay a photographer to do it. We ended up asking one of our photographer friends if they were down, she said yes. And then we got two of our friends, put them in suits and then we did the first photo shoot. The results were awesome. I loved the photos that came from that shoot. I was really inspired to take those photos and turn them into something. The thing though, that was almost two years ago and I still haven't done anything. It's time to change that though. My plan is to take my favorite photos from those photo shoots and edit them. I've been super inspired by graphic design lately and I wanted to see if I could take these photos and turn them into some sort of magazine cover or poster or something. I went through all the photos and picked 10 that I really liked. From those 10 photos, I'm hoping that I can create at least five good pieces. I'm really determined to make at least five before the day is over and this goal counter is going to keep track of that. I'd never really made anything like this before, so this first one was definitely a bit of a warm-up. Honestly, I was just throwing random image adjustments and filters at it just to see what would stick. Eventually I learned the noise threshold combo, which will definitely be making a reappearance. After some time though, I wasn't feeling too inspired, so I did ultimately move on from this one. Next, I tried this photo of the mantis with a typewriter. I did really like the noise effect, so I started there. Then I used the lasso tool to cut the bug out and replace the background with a colored square. And I run quick to my I messed around with different colors, textures, and compositions for a bit, and then moved on to the type. I really liked having the word mantis big at the top. It kind of made the whole thing feel like a magazine cover. Then I added a subtitle that said the working bug as just a little bit of flavor text. I felt like there needed to be some more smaller elements, so I made these little color blocks and then threw in this scribble. To finish off the piece, I added a bunch of these little scratches into the background, and then the first piece was done. For the second piece, I wanted the energy to feel a little edgier. I wasn't quite sure how I was going to accomplish that, but that was the goal. I ended up making these outline clones of the mantises, which I think helped pop them off the page. Then I started playing with text. Again, I was throwing everything I could at it ultimately landing on this. Still, it wasn't really feeling edgy, so I just started scribbling. My. Then I started scribbling on the title, and then I made the scribbles red. Red is edgy. After scribbling a little bit more, I went onto the flavor text filled that with some nonsense about masks, and then called the piece done. For the third piece, I chose this picture with the cow skull, and I knew right off the bat 
that I wanted this piece to express the carnivorous nature of a praying mantis. I started with my favorite combo, noise and threshold. Then I threw some color in the back and started playing with texture and composition. Things we put off better Days I'm counting on For whether you abstain or just maintain It comes for you After that, I added a title and then stole some flavor text from the internet. I wanted the whole piece to feel scarier, so to cap it off, I added a little bit of blood splatter onto the title. And now, it's time for piece number four. Out of all the six pieces I made, this one easily took the longest. I started with a basic composition and then started playing with scribbles. And then I remembered the smudge tool. I was suddenly inspired to create some sort of weird warped texture to use in the background. At first, I had no idea how I was going to make this, but after an hour or so of experimenting, I did it. I played around with the composition a little bit more and then added some flavor text, but it was still missing something. I tried adding a mantis head, I even tried adding a mantis, but ultimately, I ended up just adding another warped shape. Luckily though, this time was way easier. Add another element behind that shape, changed up the flavor text, and then called it done. At this point, I was feeling pretty tired. I had one left, but I had been working on these for almost nine hours straight. I was running out of fuel. I wanted to stop and come back to these another day. I knew I wasn't going to have time to work on these throughout the week though. So I decided to push through and make the last one. For the last piece, I wanted to use my favorite photo from the shoot. I've always thought this photo was super funny and I've kind of just been referring to it as the saucy photo. Whenever I think of these photo shoots, this photo is the one that comes to mind. I started by playing around with the title and composition. Then I added this cool blue scribble and started messing around with the flavor text. I tried out a few different phrases, but I've always thought of this photo as being kind of flirty, so I thought that that would be a good fit. I wasn't sure though, so I turned it off for now. I went back to the title and started thinking of other descriptions that I've used for this photo. Sauce. In my exhaustion though, I lost my artistic confidence, turned off the sauce, and made it kind of boring. Luckily I snapped out of that, fully embraced the sauce, and added a tomato. It's just I did like the bull skull from the first one, so I added that back in, put it in the corner, and made it blue. Then I remembered the flavor text from before and thought it would be perfect for this new composition. I was feeling really good about the piece, so I sent it over to my girlfriend and the first thing she asked me was, Why did you put the tomato and not like a chili pepper or something like that? Oh my god, you're a genius. This would be way better as a hot sauce. After switching out the tomato for chilies, I made one more change to the bug and I was done. I did it, I finally finished all five. But wait, do you remember back when I was talking about the fourth piece? Out of all the six pieces I made, this one, all the six pieces I made, yeah, I, I made six. I was exhausted. It was well past midnight, but there was one more photo I wanted to use. For the sixth piece, I wanted to use this photo where the mantis is using this little bird 
to cast a spell. I removed the background and started playing with the text. I wanted the word praying to be involved somehow, but I wasn't quite sure how I was going to use it yet. I wanted to play on this idea that praying for things is kind of like magic. Keep book to decipher. Well, I know it's always simple. After removing the bowls, I started playing with scribbles again. Six bucks like the title. I wanted the scribble to look like some sort of magic flame coming out of the book. Eventually I landed on this composition for the title, and then I added this blue texture into the background. I wanted a little more flavor text, so I went back to the internet, stole some words from Wikipedia, and taught myself how to wrap text around the mantis's foot. I wanted more colors to pop off the mantis, so I made a few more edits, and then I was done. I'm super happy with how all six of these came out, and all that's left to do is to show off the final six. Like I said in the beginning, I had never really made anything like this before, and I'm thrilled with how these came out. I feel like they capture the essence of what me and Julia were trying to make. And I think they do a great job of showing these things off. I think these images are really cool and I'm planning on turning them into prints. If you think they're cool too, then keep an eye out for that. Thank you all so much for watching. Wait, 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 don't go yet. I hadn't talked about it in the video because I hadn't gotten permission to use it yet, but all of the music that's used in this video is created by Julia and her band Beefsteak. They're really good. They just came out with an album. They deserve a ton of attention. Please go check them out. There's a link in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.